I was born and raised here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, and I am the youngest of four siblings. Uh, my mother was 100% Norwegian, my father was 100% Mexican, so you are looking at the very rarely seen Mexowegian. Um, to understand this tell, I have to tell you that uh, both of my parents were world-class, Olympic-level alcoholics. Um, my mother didn't leave her room for a period of five years when I was a kid, and her drink of choice was Mogan David 2020. Do you guys know what that was? Mad Dog 2020? Yeah. Uh, apparently, it didn't have enough kick for mom, so she would um, drink half of the bottle down and add Everclear to the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, my father was uh, what you would call a uh, functioning alcoholic. He kept a job here in Fargo for, for almost 30 years, but he was also a violent alcoholic. And one of the things that he used to do, what he would t tell us kids that he was going to um, kill us while in our beds while we were sleeping. And as you, can, as you can imagine, I didn't sleep. I would stay up all night waiting for him to come in and, and do whatever he was going to do. And this became a problem when it got time for me to start school. And I can remember being very upset at my mother for putting me in the morning kindergarten classes and not the afternoon kindergarten classes because I knew that I was going to be too tired for coloring and for show and tell. Um, and I love show and tell. I, I, I didn't participate in show and tell, but I really liked listening to the other kids uh, bringing their things and, and, and telling stories of a normal childhood that I didn't have. So one week, my um, kindergarten teacher said, OK, we're going to do show and tell a little bit differently. Um, all of you are going to get a chance to participate. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to bring an item that starts with the first letter of your name. So if your name is Mike, you're going to bring something that starts with the letter M. Uh, if your name is Shannon, you're going to bring something that starts with the letter S, and so forth. And I want you to put this item in a brown paper bag. And you're going to get up in front of the class, and you're going to um, Describe it, and the kids are going to guess what it is. And I was excited about this because I figured this was something that I could participate in. So I, go, I, I was waiting for her to, to tell me. So she finally said, OK, Bernie, tomorrow it's your turn. Bring something that, that begins with the letter B. So I go home, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I am not finding something appropriate to bring for show and tell. So eventually, everybody goes to bed. Of course, I'm staying up because I'm afraid of my dad coming in and getting me. And I, I see one of my mom's liquor bottles. A bottle starts with a B. And this was a really pretty bottle. It kind of looked like a, a, a genie bottle. It had a long neck and a big bottom. And I thought, well, I can do this. And I thought, well, it's going to look better if I scrape off all of the labels. So I sat up for most of the night scraping the labels off of this bottle, got it in my brown paper bag, got it all ready for the next day at school. So the next day at school, my teacher calls my name, and it's my turn to go up with my show and tell. So I go up with my bag, and I say, my name is Bernie, and my item is made of glass, and it's green, and it has a very long neck. And I can remember this kid in the front row yelling, is it a motorcycle? <laughs> and, and even as a kid, I remember thinking, you are not going to graduate. <laughs> you are too stupid. You are not going to get out of kindergarten. So I, I, continue, I continue describing what I have, and eventually somebody guesses a bottle. So I pull, take my bottle out of my bag, and I show it to everybody. And my, my kindergarten teacher notices that this is kind of a pretty bottle. So she says, Bernie, that's a really pretty bottle. Can I see it? Sure, I'm happy to show it to her. So I hand it to her. But in my haste to scrape off all the labels from the bottle, I never bothered to rinse it out. And there is a little bit of Mad Dog 2020 in the bottom of this bottle that I hand my, to my uh, teacher. And she brings it closer to take a look, and she gets a whiff of the alcohol. And her demeanor just changes instantly. And she says, Bernie, where did you get this bottle? I say, I got it from home. It's my mom's. So she's, I, she gets embarrassed. And uh, so she goes back to, to complimenting the bottle, and she says, well, it is a very pretty bottle. And, and me, I'm eager to please, so I say, well, do you want it? We have a whole garbage can of them at home. <laughs> so she does. She takes the bottle from me, and I'm assuming it's so that a five-year-old doesn't go around uh, carrying a bottle with some Mad Dog 2020 in the bottom. So a few days later, I'm at home, and my mom comes out of her bedroom, 
so you know she's pissed. And she comes up to me and she slaps me across the face and she says, don't you ever do that to me again. And as a five-year-old, I can remember thinking, what the fuck was that all about? I, and as a five-year-old, yes, I did have a potty mouth. And I can remember thinking, this is great. Now both of them are mad at me. I am never going to get any sleep ever again. And I, and I literally didn't sleep as a child. And I can remember even then mourning the loss of the sleep that I wasn't going to get. And then I got old enough to buy my own bottle of Mad Dog 2020. And since then, I've been sleeping really, really well. That's my tell. Thank you.